Hey guys, what is up? Starkiller Mark back for some gaming news from this past week. It's going to be a short episode. I won't be around this weekend to get anything done, so I'll do what I can because for all of you 50 watchers out there, I love you. Anyway, I'm going to be playing some Super Smash Bros here. I the only comments I got were uh from 1, 5, 7 and 12 which means that I would be playing as Luigi or Samus or Ness or Jigglypuff and since I think Ness and Jigglypuff suck I'm going to play as Luigi and Samus anyway here we go let's get into the news here got two things of news so we can get this uh, done quickly we got PlayStation Vita will launch with no support for Adobe Flash but it was in an article published in this week's issue of Weekly Famitsu in Japan. Uh, the, v the Vita's web browser will support cookies, JavaScript 1.7, and part of the HTML5 standard. Uh, which means that it's going to have some stuff, but it won't have Flash. And it won't have Flash yet, though. Because, as some of you may know, PSP was actually launched without Flash. But it was later given an update where you can actually use Flash on the PSP. So don't rule P uh, Flash out yet on the PlayStation Vita. The add-on will probably happen. And if it does, it might even give it a step up above iPhones and iPods since they still don't have support for Flash. But anyways, we're going to move on to the next thing of news. It is the first year since 2004 that a Guitar Hero game or a rock band game has not been released and that is actually awesome in my opinion since I think they were flooding the market too much I mean listen to this Guitar Hero for five years since 2005 to 2010 in those five years they released 22 Guitar Hero games whether it be on platform handheld or mobile devices or it be like the main game like Guitar Hero 1, 2, 3 or if it's an expansion pack like 80's classic rock or whatever or if it was the band centric Aerosmith type stuff they they released 22 things in five years which that's that's insane I don't, I don't think that was a good idea but anyway Harmonix uh, which creates rock band now they say they're using the time off wisely they're using it to creatively reinterpret the Rock Band games. Aaron Egozi, the co-founder of Harmonix, actually said in an interview, all I'll say for now is that it isn't what you think. You might assume we're going to add saxophone or something along those lines, but no. The kind of direction we're planning on taking Rock Band, the kind of innovation we have in mind, is taking it in a different direction, one that's more suitable to the kind of environment we're in what people are playing now or what people are doing now and what they're interested in playing now versus say 2007 so hopefully it'll add something new to the genre and make it freaking awesome anyway we're gonna get into the games now we're gonna start with the Xbox 360 exclusives there's a game called Blackwater that came out this week for the Xbox 360 and it got a critic score of 4.8 and then there's also the game Dance Central 2 for the Kinect on the Xbox 360. And that got a critic score of 8.6, so pretty darn good. We got another Kinect game, Kinect Sports Season 2. And that is got a critic score of 6.8. We also have Motion Explosion, which just by the title looks like it's probably for the Kinect. That got a user score of 3.2 which means it's bad. Uh, we also have a world of Keflings. It came from outer space and that had no score available either critic or user. Uh, we got the War of the Worlds came out this week for Xbox 360. It got a critic score of 6.9 and that's all the exclusive games for the Xbox 360. Let's move on to the PS3 exclusives. The House of the Dead Overkill Extended Cut that came out this week and it got a critic score of 7.4 uh, Infamous 2 Festival of Blood got a critic score of 7.3 this week Pixel Junk Side Scroller which just has an awesome title 
actually got a critic score of 6.5 on the PS3 this week. And there's also a game called Worms Crazy Golf that came out this week, and I found no score for that on GameSpot. So let's move on to the Wii. We have one game for the Wii that got a score, and the other three didn't. So let's start off with the ones that didn't get scores, so we build up. We have Active Life Magical Carnival. That had no score. Centipede Infestation. No score. Monster High Ghoul Spirit. Pun on words, but no score. And we also have Kirby's Return to Dreamland, the first Kirby game for a very, very long time. It got a critic score of 8.3. Good job. I love Kirby. Let's move on to the PC releases this week. We've got Family Vacation California. That actually also came out on the Mac, but I have no score for either of them. Uh, the Haunted Hell's, Re Hell's Reach also came out this week. That got a user score of 7.0. Stronghold 3 came out this week. Uh, that got a critic score of 6.6. .6. A game called Take On Helicopters came out. I found no score for that. And also, Ignite the Race Begins came out, but that came out on Friday, and I recorded this on Thursday, so I don't even know what the score is going to be. Let's move on to the cross consoles. We have Back to the Future, the game this week for the PS3 and the Wii. That got a user score of 8.0 for the Wii and an 8.1 for the PS3. Champion Jockey, G1 Jockey, a Gallop Racer. Oh, what a mouthful. That came out for the Xbox 360, the PS3, and the Wii this week. Uh, the Xbox 360 got a critic score of 6.0. The PS3 got a critic score of 4.0. And the Wii got a critic score of 6.6. .6. The Cursed Crusade came out this week. Xbox 360, PS3, and PC are the ones that have that game. Uh, we have a critic score for the Xbox 360 of 4.8 and the PS3 of 4.1. And the PC has a user score of 6.1. Daytona USA came out for the Xbox 360 and the PS3. They both got critic scores. The Xbox 360 got a 7.7 .7 and the PS3 got a 8.0. Uh, Disney Universe came out for the Xbox 360, the Wii, and the PS3. We have a critic score of 7.4 for the Xbox 360 and a 7.4 for the PS3. And we also have a user score for the Wii that has an 8.5. We also got Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi came out this week. And that got a Xbox 360 score of 6.5 and a PS3 score of 6.8, both on the critic score rating. We have Grease Dance came out this week for the... Xbox 360 and PS3. Uh, the Xbox 360 got a user score of 2.7 and the PS3 got a user score of 6.0. Heavy Fire Afghanistan The Chosen Few came out for the PS3, Wii, and PC this week. The user score for the PC was a 1.0 and there was no available one for the PS3 or the Wii. We also have Just Dance 2 that came out, Just Dance Kids 2 came out this week for Xbox 360, PS3, and the Wii. They all got user scores. Well, Xbox 360 got a user score of 3.5, PS3 got a user score of 6.0, and Wii got a user score of N A. Puss in Boots also came out this week uh, for the Xbox 360, the PS3, and the Wii. There was a user score of the Xbox 360 for 4.8 for the PS3, 7.8, and no score for the Wii. And was, it, was there any more games? Oh, there was this uh, game here, Battlefield 3, uh, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. That came out for the Xbox 360, the PS3, and the PC. And there was a critic score for all three of those. The Xbox 360 got an 8.2. The PS3 got an 8.5, and the PC got an 8.9. Apparently that's a good game. I, I wouldn't know. I mean, I've, I don't think I've heard of it. I'm just messing. Uh, guys, install that on your Xbox 360 if you want the sexy-looking graphics. Remember that from last week. And anyways, that's all I have. I hope you guys share this with your friends. And as always, stay sexy.